Tinea versicola is a condition characterized by a rash on the trunk and proximal extremities. Recent research has shown that the majority of Tinea versicola is caused by the Malassezia globosa fungus, although Malassezia furfa is responsible for a small number of cases. These yeasts are normally found on the human skin and only become troublesome under certain circumstances, such as a warm and humid environment, although the exact conditions that cause initiation of the disease process are poorly understood. The condition Pityriasis versicola was first identified in 1846. Versicola comes from the Latin, from versa to turn plus color. Symptoms The symptoms of this condition include Occasional fine scaling of the skin producing a very superficial ash-like scale, pale, dark tan, or pink in color, with a reddish undertone that can darken when the patient is overheated, such as in a hot shower or during after exercise. Tanning typically makes the affected areas contrast more starkly with the surrounding skin. Sharp border, pityriasis versicolor is more common in hot, humid climates or in those who sweat heavily, so it may recur each summer. Sometimes severe pinprick itching in the affected areas. Usually when the person's body temperature is elevated by exercise or a hot warm environment, but the person hasn't started sweating yet. Once sweating begins the pinprick itching subsides. The yeasts can often be seen under the microscope within the lesions and typically have a so-called spaghetti and meatball appearance as the round yeasts produce filaments. In people with dark skin tones. Pigmentary changes such as hyperpigmentation are common, while in those with lighter skin color, hyperpigmentation are more common. These discolorations have led to the term sun fungus. Prevalence This skin disease commonly affects adolescents and young adults, especially in warm and humid climates. It is thought that the yeast feeds on skin oils as well as dead skin cells. Infections are more common in people who have sporic dermatitis, dandruff and hyperhidrosis. Diagnosis. Tinea versicola may be diagnosed by a potassium hydroxide preparation and lesions may fluoresce copper orange when exposed to Wood's lamp. The differential diagnosis for Tinea versicola infection includes, pityriasis alba, pityriasis rosy, sporic dermatitis, erythrasma, vitiligo, leprosy, syphilis, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. Treatment. Treatments for Tinea versicola include, topical antifungal medications containing 2.5% selenium sulfide are often recommended. Ctoconazole is another treatment. It is normally applied to dry skin and washed off after 10 minutes, repeated daily for 2 weeks. Cyclopyrex is an alternative treatment to ctoconazole as it suppresses growth of the yeast Molassezia furfa. Initial results show similar efficacy to ctoconazole with a relative increase in subjective symptom relief due to its inherent anti-inflammatory properties. Other topical antifungal agents such as clotrimazole, meconazole or terbinafine can lessen symptoms in some patients. Additionally, hydrogen peroxide has been known to lessen symptoms, and on certain occasions, remove the problem, although permanent scarring has occurred with this treatment in some sufferers. Clotrimazole is also used combined with selenium sulfide. Oral antifungal prescription only medications include 400 mg of ctoconazole or fluconazole in a single dose, or ctoconazole 200 mg daily for 7 days, or etraconazole 400 mg daily for 3 euro 7 days. The single dose regimens, or pulse therapy regimes, can be made more effective by having the patient exercise 1 euro 2 hours after the dose to induce sweating. The sweat is allowed to evaporate, and showering is delayed for a day, leaving a film of the medication on the skin. Some success with Senna Alita has been reported. Recurrence is common and may be reduced by intermittent application of topical antifungal agents like tea tree oil or selenium sulfide. References External links, Health in Plain English, Tiny Versicola, Tiny versicolor is harmless but can recur.